like this morning but i think i'll be okay i'll be okay hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is jessica fam so in today's video i'm going to be talking about my total room transformation and how i did it for under 500 dollars so I'm just going to take you guys through the steps that I took in order to turn my room into this. I'm going to link down below as many items as I can if I bought any new items as well as have a budget down below. Um, it's what I used as a guide to limit myself to the $500 that I set. I'll also be doing a room tour very soon so just stay tuned for that but for now if you want to find out how I turned my room into this then just keep watching so on the first day I pretty much spent it cleaning everything clearing out all the clothes that I didn't want furniture that I didn't want books that I didn't read I haven't read yet or not going to read everything that I wasn't planning on using within the next 12 months my first tip is to clear as much as you can. I'm like known as a hoarder so I probably still have a lot of stuff that I need to clear but I just haven't been able to. I'm like pretty proud I was able to clear quite a bit of stuff. I recommend you either throw it away or you donate it. Find out what your closest charity bin will take and take advantage of that. After I cleared my closet I painted all the walls inside my closet. I only painted two coats just to like get rid of the green. That took a day. After my closet was dry, I put all my clothes in and I kind of like um, arranged them just to like make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and pretty. Yeah, so once I put all my clothes in, the next day I painted my walls. I think I did about three coats. After two coats, it kind of looked like like light green and it kind of looked weird. I kept on adding more coats, but I only ended up doing three coats I think. If you don't really mind the colour seeping through then just do one or two coats and that's probably enough. What I noticed from buying paint is it is very expensive. Talk to the um, employees at the paint shop because they will give you the right amount of paint and know your measurements of your room. I end up getting about six liters of paint for my whole room um yeah so i recommend you talk to them, the employees because they know best so as my walls were drying i went out to buy paint and um i started like a little project for my table my second or third tip is to revamp your old furniture try to turn as many old items that you have into something new because that's going to benefit you and that's going to cut your costs by a lot like i wanted to buy a corner table rather than like a square table or rectangular table it needed to be within a corner and i already had one but mine was like this ugly yellowy brown wood color and i did not like that at all so i kind of did a little diy i bought really glossy paint so i could paint my table and it turned out so good i'm so incredibly happy about it the only thing about my table is that i wanted it to be white my current table worked perfectly fine it wasn't broken or anything so i just decided to turn it into what i wanted so after my table was com completely dry and my rooms were completely dry I was able to move everything back in I brought my shelf back in my table back in I also rearranged my room my bed and table pretty much swapped sides and my shelf also swapped sides too I wanted to try out a different layout for my room once I brought my shelf in and my table in I um, filled up all the compartments with everything that I needed like my books my makeup just like any decoration that I like just like my necessities at the bottom and then like slowly worked up and the last two shelves I left for decoration and I also went to Ikea so I could buy a desk chair as well as a bedside table I can't remember which one I bought yeah I bought those and then I built those with my sister Once everything was completed, like all my furniture was done, everything was arranged the way I liked it, then I decorated. A tip for decorating is 
take advantage of thrift stores like Salvo's, Vinnie's, like take advantage of those stores. You can find so many decorative pieces for really cheap. Yeah, thrift stores and secondhand stores or just like any garage sales, take advantage of those. You would be saving so much more and Kmart. Kmart is like the place to go. <laughs> it's so incredibly cheap. And then after all of that was complete, my brother gave me his computer. After buying a lot of the decorations and setting it up, I used the rest of the money that I had to buy plants. And the reason why I bought plants was because that's what I wanted my room to look like. So I just like bought a crap ton of plants and scattered it across my room. That's the last thing I did though because I didn't want to spend too much money on that. Yeah, and I'm really happy about it. Another tip if you've got like a mental blank, go on Pinterest and like different sites. Find motivation through like Pinterest and Google Images even. Just like other YouTubers as well, other YouTube videos if you want. I like watched a crap ton of room transformations and it was just like very inspiring so that helped me a lot and lastly have fun with this because this is not a chore you're doing this for you so just do it the way you love it don't listen to anyone because my mom was like nagging me about so many things but I just did it the way I wanted to do it and I'm so happy about how this place turned out so I hope this video inspired you to do your own thing with your room and um yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. I'm so incredibly happy about how my room turned out. It looks freaking amazing to me. And I'm still going to be doing a lot of improvements, still going to be changing a lot of things. But for now, to me, it's perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. And if you like my content, please subscribe. I first of all wanted to say I'm sorry for not being active on YouTube. I've just been really busy with starting uni and trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing and yeah, I just, I've been caught up in uni work. So I haven't been able to make any content for you guys. Also, I wanted to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I'm so grateful and appreciative that you guys like my content enough to subscribe. So yeah, that's like amazing to me. <laughs>